Okay, let's uh, have another go at testing my tracker. Uh, I made a little bit of changes since the last version. Um, this time around, what I'm going to do is uh, previously what uh, I did was to track this guy uh, it looks like that uh, so that one was the Chengdu J36 Tilt Fighter uh, released on, the, on December 26th I think at least the footage captured by uh, by random stranger on the internet um, but what I didn't do was actually around the same time the competing organization the Shenyang Aircraft Corporation also released the J-50 or the show uh, at least the public managed to uh, record test flights so the other one is the from the Chengdu Aircraft Corporation uh, the J-36 and whereas the J-50 is from the Sh Shenyang Aircraft Corporation and it looks like this very similar so it looks like a stealth plane again uh, maybe similar to the F-117 if you're familiar with that plane but without the vertical stabilizers um, and so the idea here probably is that these two are I don't know if these two are meant to be competing designs uh, competing for one winner one winning contract at the end or if they are actually two separate programs but yeah we'll take a look at that and while I'm doing that I'm also going to track this guy it looks like an F-117 or maybe a Sentinel um, from some time ago from the United States so it's this is an unmanned combat drone released much earlier uh, so that voltage is from way back so we'll track that also and finally I wanted to track this one which is a weird looking plane uh, this is supposed to be a surveillance plane I think uh, loitering one also unmanned um, similar to probably the Global Hawk from the United States um, but this one is uh, supposed to be counter stealth so specifically looking for stealth fighters so anyway let's now track those Oop, uh, that. where's the J there we go so let's do that change that there and hopefully it locks in yep it does that's not a problem a dark object against a consistent bluish background so easy to figure out the foreground object just like here and so tracking is not too bad tracking in this case would probably be very easy to do even with standard um, open CV libraries or trackers and here um, much clearer object I guess blue sky uh, so this was released I think on January 6th uh, whereas the first one is was in December so the thinking here is this is probably a second airframe uh, and the color here is actually grayish whitish whereas that one is black and in the high resolution images um, this actually showed some design differences from the first one so and that's why people say that this is probably a second airframe testing some other things maybe the more improved version of the two so that's that uh, as you can see tracking is not too bad so i'm not going to stay too long there and then let me just test this very quickly track that seems to be fine okay that detached let's track this one again so good practice for tracking fuzzy objects maybe my optical my camera is cheap low cost and only delivers fuzzy images or there's just a lot of smoke and fog or mist and so this is what it sees or it's very far and we're using digital zoom so again the picture becomes very small no problem there and now we go to the main event tracking this guy looks weird so let me put 
the, I'm trying to get this into the center of that. There you go. So the center is uh, around the negative, oh, negative space. There you go. So I think it would still be fine. It doesn't have to be there. It could be on anywhere around around this side here, and it should be fine. But I wanted to test it from from this area. So this video is good because it becomes it's from a big object, then zooming out, and so the object becomes very small, and good tracking still. And then it, we would then zoom in, so from a small target to a big target. Uh, and to me, that's relevant for an anti-drone drone that's actually fast approaching the target. So that seems to have worked. Let me try doing something different, similar but slightly different. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to attach this tracker to the wing and just want to see if it manages to no that's too close let me put it on the tip yeah there we go it's much better if it survives the zoom out and the zoom in so that's uh it's a little bit slow so let's wait a little bit okay there we go so keeps uh, oh so at some point it manages to go to the center and once it's there of course it's not going to I, I don't expect to recover back to the wing because it can't resolve that unless I keep a memory of the original target but I don't at least not on this uh, design so if I then try the other side the right side um, I think the result is going to be the same but let's give it a try um, a little slow okay it seems fine okay stays on the wing which is the intention uh, at this uh, even if you're targeting the wing if you have a proximity sensor and then your anti-drone mechanism explodes around it then it should still damage the wing um, okay I think that looks good so so notice here that it says frame skip zero and that makes it slow because if your frame rate is 30 and this one I think processes at maybe 15 to 20 so it actually is a little bit slow uh, so one quick way well there are two ways one way is for me to improve the code to make it faster um, and to make it more efficient and the second version is to actually skip some of the frames I'll do that so in reality you probably would have two you would have two threads one thread is managing the video feed and then the other thread is actually the one that's processing so if uh, the processing is a little bit slow then it would just have to skip some of the output frame from the frame buffer so here to simulate that because i'm only using one one, one thread uh, we're just going to do we're going to skip one frame and so here it says frame skip zero because i haven't locked on yet I just say it doesn't go by very fast but the moment I click there so let's say so now it's one so now it's actually just uh, pressing one oh okay now I already lost it so one frame off um, so it's, this one is a little bit harder because now you're losing one frame in the middle and so that one I did not expect it would handle that because I thought I would lose it but it was fine uh, and actually interesting I want to try let's see let me go up here one thing that I had before which was the j 36 b this was the small one but to me I want to do that one so this is skip one very small target and it's moving fast would this truck be able to hang on and it seems to be fine so that's a quick way to uh, keep up the frame rate high um, it's not a good idea uh, probably a better idea to just improve the processing um, and I'm even going to see so we're just going to process every third frame so this is even worse and hey that's not too bad 
and that one so I didn't track of the camera and still man managed to handle it so that's nice so but anyway that's not going to be my goal my goal is to um, improve the code first so I'll leave it at that uh, I guess uh, I think this has been long enough so hang in there uh, new things coming up um, yeah that's it for today this code is done